Hi guys, I'm Latifa. Welcome back to my channel or welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing a first impressions of the new Fenty Soft Matte Foundation Powder. So if you want to see how I got this look and see how the foundation wears, stay tuned. So as I was saying, we're going to be playing today with Fenty's new Soft Matte powder foundation um yeah i'm quite looking forward to this so i picked mine up in 400 now one thing about boots is you can't test anything you can't touch anything so what they have said is that if it's not the right color you can actually take it back so that works for people in london or uk as it were um you can just take it back now i normally wear 390 but when i was there it just looked a bit too yellow which is funny because in the liquid foundation it's a bit orange so here's what she looks like here's what she looks like there we go it's a nice color it's a really nice color there we go yes here's what she looks like now i am going firstly i'm going to put oh actually one is what i wanted to say actually was i have got two of the new hollywood filter um charlotte tilby quads i'm waiting on the third one to arrive which i expect either tomorrow or the second which is on sunday and as soon as it does i'll be getting a video with three looks in one vid going up but anyway that's what we're doing so i have prepped my eyebrows so was, and i prepped it with so my phone's going off and i prepped it with the brow is brow mvp sorry and that's in chocolate i believe so i prepped it with that now i'm the kind of person i start my eyebrows before and then i finish it afterwards so i kind of shape it beforehand because i can't do eyeshadow without shaping it so i've done that off camera now what i'm going to do is i am going to use the fenty hydrating primer just two squirts on that i my forehead now normally i would set my um my primer but it's a weird one i don't think you can set it if you're going to use a powder afterwards it's, it's, it's like using powder twice also because i'm working with a powder because this is a powder what i plan to do is i'm going to do all my liquids first and then i'm going to powder over top of it because i just can't see myself putting powders on and then putting liquids over the top i'm not sure how that would work so this is new for me i wouldn't normally put my makeup on like this so i've got the fenty concealer in 390 and what i'm going to do first i'm going to just color correct so for instance i'm gonna go there and then i'm gonna just cover up i wouldn't even say color correct i'm just gonna cover up any blemishes this is a birthmark so i'm just gonna leave it then i'm gonna just go back in with my fingers because the warmth of your fingers nothing can compare look at that Okay, so I've just used 390 on the perimeter of my under eye, so the outside bit on both sides, and then I'm gonna let that sit. What I then did was I got 385, and I've done that on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten, and I'm gonna take that down my nose too. Doesn't have to be perfect, because you're gonna blend it out anyway. So I'm going to take that down my nose. I'm going to highlight this area here as well. And then I'm going to take it under my lip. And then last but not least, I'm going to create a halo in between my eyebrows. And I start it quite low. Don't take it too high because that's actually quite a lot of product. So you don't need to take it too high because that way when you blend it out, it's just a bit softer. There you go now normally i wouldn't use oh, so basically i'm going to use the uma beauty contour stick now normally i wouldn't use this darker color but because i'm doing this underneath the foundation we're trying to lay the groundwork so then i've gone slightly darker i've contoured on the highest point of my cheek on both sides and i've gone around the perimeter of my face i'm just going to add a little bit more there and then we're going to let that sit for a sec 
and then we'll come back and blend it off. In the meantime, because I like to let my foundation uh, concealer sit so that I get full coverage and I don't get creasing, I like to let it sit for about five minutes. And what I normally do is, because I don't like to waste a stun up, is then I would do my eyebrows on my eyes. So today I'm gonna be using the Sample Beauty Equalizer Palette 2. This palette is amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort my eyes out and I will be right back with you. Okay, and I'm back. So I have finished doing the top of my eyeshadow and I've just blended out this side and I thought I'd do the other side on the camera. So what I like to do when I'm blending out, I'm just gonna get a bit closer, is I like to start with the edges because these bits are slightly darker than the other side. So I get nice and close and I blend the edge. And then it's also an opportunity to clean up um, your eyeshadow there. Like if you look on this side, I've cleaned it up. I didn't really, I just used concealer. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna press it down like this. And I kind of just drag. And then what I do is as well, cause I'm a bit perfectionist, I will take a sponge and clean up that line. And then once I'm happy, then I will take it to the inner corner because that's slightly lighter. So I'm just gonna press that there, bring it up and then press it back out. Just like that. And then you wanna bring it closer to the contour line as well so that when we blend out our contour, it is seamless. There's no hard lines, nothing. So you kinda of, kinda of meld them into each other. Just like that. And bring it down there. And that's it. And then what I like to do for my contour or alongside my nose is I literally just pat it with a sponge, a dry sponge. And take it all the way up to my eyebrow. And back then, bring it all the way down. There you go. And then I take back the, the concealer brush. And as you can see, if you see how stark that one, and this one is starting to soften. So then you bring the lines together, so it becomes seamless. You don't get any harsh lines. Blend, 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 blend. There we go. And it's the same thing with the middle contour. I use the same sponge that has a darker and a lighter color. And then I just literally just press. This is why it doesn't matter if the line is completely straight, because all you're gonna do is just press it and it strains out for you. That's my baby. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> right, I'm gonna blend the rest out off camera and make sure she's not dying. <laughs> and she's alive and kicking, say hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. So I'm okay. I'm okay. I was just coughing. I was just coughing. <laughs> and what's your name? Baby Hayden. Baby Hayden? What's your name? Baby Hayden, not Thompson Lowe. Oh, Thompson Lowe, okay. <laughs> okay, she's she's fine. So I've blended out the rest and now we're actually gonna go in with the foundation. Now it actually comes with um, one of these. To use or not to use? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side of my face with a foundation brush and I'll do the other side with this. I might just decide that actually I don't want to do it at all. Um, if this is if this brush works out fine so i'm gonna start with this side of my face and because i've blended everything in this just goes over the top of absolutely everything i'm not gonna bring it right underneath my eye though because i don't want to oh wow oh wow i never experienced it that's really nice hmm Interesting. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect that. Okay, so this is the side um, with the foundation, and this is the side without. Can you see? This is the side without. With. Without. I think I'm gonna use the brush on the other side. I like the coverage. So if I'm not said before, I quite like a sheer to medium coverage whenever I wear foundation. Wow. So I'm not gonna go all the way up to my eyes because I wanna keep that area highlighted. Mm. 
I'm gonna take it as far as that. Then I'm gonna set my under eye with a powder. I'm gonna lightly go over my forehead. There we go. I'm just bring it under there as well because you want it to be a seamless blend. This is beautiful. The color, I got the color right, which is quite nice. But as I said, boots in the UK is, we'll take it back. Which I know for my uh, American friends is the norm. And then you can return a makeup, but we normally can't. But because we're in lockdown and we're not allowed to test anything, they're actually letting us do it at the moment. Now, the thing with using powder is remembering to put it everywhere. But yeah, I'm impressed. Okay. So I'm just gonna uh, bake my under eyes. Well, I say bake, I'm gonna set my under eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my under eye. I have set my concealer and this is what we're looking at. I really like this. This is flawless. I'm just gonna dim the light a bit so you can, there we go. This is flawless. I think I'm gonna get a bit closer as well, just so you can see, this is flawless. This is yummy. It's like I went from having no foundation on to having foundation on, but it doesn't feel like I've got foundation on. And I've just said foundation on like four times, but that's the best way to explain it. It doesn't feel like I've got lots of powder on. It doesn't feel like I've got lots of, just feels, it's extremely comfortable, not too heavy. I'm just gonna turn that back up. It's extremely comfortable, not too heavy. I love this. The only thing is I'm struggling with a little bit is, now I haven't powdered my face after um, putting the actual foundation on. And there's a little bit here, it's on this side, I can see it more, but there's a bit of shine. Now I used a hydrating uh, primer, so I'm not sure if that's it. Or maybe what I do is, cause I do this thing where when I finish doing my makeup, I dust it with a finishing powder so that everything is seamless and is blent to the guads. So maybe if I do that, and then that might disappear. But right now I am a little bit concerned about that. But other than that, I'm not sure if I'm speaking it out, here we go. But other than that, I'm really, I'm shook. I'm shooketh. This is really gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna be back in a sec. My face will be completely finished. Then I'm gonna insert some stills of the finished article, and then we'll come in for our first check-in. See you shortly. And this is the final look. What you think? I've not put highlight on because it will give me a look like I'm shining when I'm not. Um, and when I do my check-in, it could confuse things, especially with my lighting. But yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. Just to say, I am not normally a powder girl. Um, not for any specific reason, it just doesn't appeal to me. Same thing with cushion powders and things like that. They just don't appeal to me, but this, come on. She's giving you flawless, she's giving you skin, but more. Yeah, I'm feeling this, absolutely feeling this. Okay, and just to let you know, I completed the look by using the Kilowatt highlighters and Ginger, Ginger Bean Jam Moscow Mule. I'm not gonna show you the inside of this because it's disgusting. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Because that's what happens when you use things, they look disgusting. Gross, right? <laughs> and then I use Coco Naughty as well. Um, and that is the Sunstalker bronzers. And then I also uh, used, what else did I use? I did actually cheat a little bit. I have used the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as well, because I never use one bronzer. I use more, I always use at least two. But yeah, that's everything finished. I was going to put a gloss on, but I think it's, I don't know, I think it looks good matte. But yeah, I'm going to take some stills and that's what you're going to see next. And then it will be a check in in about three hours. It is now, what is the time? It is now four, quarter to five in the evening, New Year's Eve. Um, and I will check in in about two or three hours and we'll see how it's going. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so this is three hours in. I think it's still looking really, really good. If I come a bit closer. Still looking pretty flawless and pretty matte, still kind of powdery, it hasn't actually done that settling in thing yet. But yeah, I'm happy. And that area that I was concerned about, that was shining earlier, seems to have dissipated for now. I fully expect it to come back when it starts to break down. But yeah, for three hours in, we're not doing too badly. 
I'll check in with you before midnight, which is in about four more hours. Okay, hi guys. Um, it is now three o'clock in the morning. I've now had this foundation on for just over nine hours and um, it's shining in the places I would expect it to shine. So for instance, um, the corners of my nose. Mm. It's not actually shining here, it looks like it is, but it's not actually, that's more to do with um, the ring light that's in front of me. I am just going to see if I can powder those bits, so there's a bit of powder left on the brush. I'm going to see if I can powder that away. Oh yeah, there you go. Powders away very easily. Okay. Yeah, so it held up really well. If I come in closer, you can see it's not breaking apart anywhere. Yeah, I haven't had to touch up anything. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. It's a really nice foundation. I didn't think I was into powder foundations, but this is so lightweight, it's, it's a really nice feeling. And I like the way I like it. I actually prefer it now that it's settled into my skin a bit more. I think it's quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. I can see myself reaching for it, and it obviously lasts. I mean, nine hours is not to be sniffed at. Um, and I've been eating and drinking, having not touched up my lips. So yeah, very happy with it and I definitely would recommend it and I got the right colour which I'm happy about. Okay, so as you can hear my voice is going, I've had a, I've enjoyed the evening, I've had a lot of fun. So if you liked my video, please like it, please subscribe and I will see you very very soon for my next video. I'm going to bed, I'm absolutely shattered. Happy New Year.